Hey folks, I uh, just wanted to see if we can tear down this iPhone uh, lightning cable that I got uh, from the dollar store maybe a couple months ago. And um, recently I tried to plug in my phone and it didn't work. And you can see here, this is the authentic one from Apple and that's the fake one. It looks a lot chunkier. Um, now let's see what happens. We're gonna try this, uh, this right now is what's plugged in is the real one. Okay, let's go find it. Plug it into the phone. And you'll notice the screen goes on, 77% charged, and right up there you can see there's a lightning uh, bolt next to the battery indicating charge. Okay, I'll take this one out, and we're gonna plug in the dollar store one. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna plug it in. See what happens? It recognizes something. It knows that it's there. See? And it flashes for one brief second. Okay, there it is. I'm going to try it again and then we'll flip it around and see what happens. Okay, take it out. One more time. See? I'm going to I'm going to turn this around this this way and we'll try again. Okay? So, for one second, it looks like it's going to charge. And this was working at one point. I don't know why it stopped, but basically it's using exactly the same port. And I've tried it on all the phones. Uh, they don't work. So it, I thought it, at first maybe the software in here detected that it's the cable and maybe put a limit on this thing for, I don't know, a month or two. Who knows? Maybe Apple is uh, sees that it's not authentic. It gives you a chance to charge your phone a few times and then basically puts a lock on the cable because it's not authentic. Um... But I tried other phones, so unless it goes across my all my accounts, you know, I've tried it on different accounts phones, it does not seem to matter. It just does not recognize that cable period. Back to the regular one from Apple. Sorry, wrong side. And I cleaned my port out, you know, in here. People suggest uh, to clean it because there's dust and lint that forms in there. And I did find lint, but I cleaned it out, no problem. Okay, there's the other one. And as you can see, it is charging and it's moving ahead there. All right, so while that's happening, I since this cable is useless at this point, I thought, why not tear it down and see if we can figure out what's in here. Um, I got a knife here, uh, and hopefully I'm going to try to skin this plastic here carefully and see if I can get in there at all um, and find out if there's any chips. And it's quite hard to remove so um, bear with me here I think the best way to do it would be maybe like this as long as I don't slice my finger off we're gonna try to get in here best maybe to get a belt sander or something and this is a tiny little knife I'll cut away from my fingers how about that that way I'm not uh, at risk of injuring myself we'll just try to to see if we can get this out of here. This is a sharp knife, although I have a, um, an, a better knife than this. We can try that out, see if this will work. It's a bit dull. That's why um, I thought of using the other one first, but here we go. Okay, we're starting to get through. Okay, you can see something there. So here, let's keep going and see if we can just peel through the first few layers. Okay, I'm getting something there. Okay, it's, as long as it gets thin enough, I should be able to pry the rest of this insulation off. Okay, here we are. Okay, and almost there. All right, so we're through the first layer and you can see microchips in there. Okay. Uh, okay, let's carefully remove the rest of this. Now, why did it stop working? I don't know. Um, physically, I don't see anything wrong with the pins. Um, you know, I, I'll zoom in later and we'll see if there's any physical damage that I can see. I did treat this cable very, very carefully. Um, I just cannot see why. Oh, and by the way, as an aside, I have used this cable for data. It works still as a data, 
cable, but it will not allow charging. Okay, so go figure. How is that possible? I can connect through data. So is it, you know, Apple, uh, you know, Voodoo, you know, with their uh, software? I, there's been cases in the past where people have reported, of course, um, that Apple has inactivated certain vendors through software, through, and there's updates that happen where, uh, you know, you update iOS. Now, I didn't update my phone. It just stopped working even without updating. Uh, but there are updates that happen. And those updates, of course, uh, you know, Apple introduces some kind of anti, um, you know, uh, I don't know, counterfeit or whatever they want to call it, um, measures to disable third party products that don't comply with their terms, you know, because everything that Apple does has to be proprietary and they have to have control over all of these devices. And, you know, I understand why that would be. Certainly, uh, you know, if you're going to charge up your phone, definitely you don't want to blow it up using some garbage cable. Um, that's for sure. So, you know, yes, I agree that it is a good idea to use uh, authentic parts. But, you know, there's still a lot of debate and controversy as to whether Apple is, uh, you know, playing fair here or not um, by restricting, you know, everybody to using certain um, you know, certain uh, vendor, I guess, lock in and, and, you know, and you have to pay Apple royalties and all that. So, um, but yeah, you know, Apple, I'm sure they, what they, I'm, I'm assuming they invented the lightning connection. So, and in, in specifically to lock in their supply chain and allow only their own people, their own, you know, legitimate companies that pay them a royalty, a licensing fee and so on to produce the cables. So they will definitely want as much as possible to control that. Um, otherwise, what's the point of having done that? So I'm sure that they've introduced lots and lots of different uh, software and hardware, um, uh, essentially checks and, you know, to make sure that the only licensed cables are used. Um, you know, and those chips are not just there, you know, to regulate voltage and protection and all that I'm, you know there are there is id vendor id uh you know data being sent through this which uh, i'm sure you know allows apple to differentiate between what cables are being used and what are not okay so we've got down to the point where the board connects out to four different um, pins let's just keep going here and it's a little bit here, just want to get a nice clean, clean strip here um, without, of course, damaging the actual cable. I'm almost through the last layer here, and then we'll zoom in. There's some kind of uh, um, some sh hard plastic shell that still surrounds the chips here. That's not going to come off easily. Um, and I can try to slice it off, but you know I'm getting a little bit through, but without damaging it further, I don't think I'm going to be able to completely peel that off. Let's see here. And we got a little bit further down. I'm just essentially exposing the top of the chips, but that does nothing to reveal anymore. So let's zoom in. I'll put the shavings over here. Okay, bear with me a second. I'm going to try to, uh, to zoom here. Okay. Not sure if you can see this clearly or not. We'll focus. Okay. So that's the port there. It's kind of grainy now, actually. You know what? I'm going to zoom out because I think zooming in is, is not going to help here. Let's zoom out and just focus on it instead. See if... Can we get any better? No? Come on. No, oh, come on. Okay, there. Okay, I think that's as good as we're going to get. Okay, so the lightning cable has eight pins, if you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
um, and then flip it around, there's eight there as well. I'm not sure exactly what the pinouts are. There are only four, count them, one, two, three, four actual wires inside of this cable. The two, the black and red, and there's a, it looks like a white and a, perhaps a green there in the middle. Okay. There are a couple of, of chips here. Looks like this one has uh, six pins on it. I'm not sure what the other one is. It looks like maybe three, one, two, and then a third one on this side. And that's it. Okay. What exactly those do, I'm not sure. They're not, I've seen other lightning cables being opened up and this, there's way more going on. Uh, so either they uh, figured out a way to condense the, um, you know, the, the chips down that are needed to these two, or this is just a bare bones minimum cable that basically does nothing but, uh, you know, at least up to a little while ago did charge and, and do some power, uh, sorry, and, uh, and data. At this point, it's not really doing much. So let, let's give it another shot. I'm going to take this out now that I've opened it up. You know, in case some, I, you can see that nothing is loose or damaged in there, at least not visibly. So we're going to try again to see if there's any changes here to the phone. And we'll zoom out again. Bear with me. Okay. And we'll plug this in into here. All right. So it detects it. And then it tries to charge. And then immediately after, it dies. You see? So, no go with this one. And if we flip back to the other one, which is the authentic cable from Apple. We try that out. No problems at all. Okay? So... There you have it. Um, you know, if, if anyone else has had any uh, experience with dollar store type cables or any other third party cables and had a similar um, uh, experience as far as it working at first and then dying soon after, please leave it in the comments. There are a lot of conspiracy theories as to how that can be, um, you know, when especially there was um, a software issue that we found can instantly uh, essentially paralyze all non-Apple ver verified cables. Uh, so we know definitely software is checking these things. Um, I still fail to believe that the hardware itself is like this actual cable is damaged necessarily because it just does transfer data, no problem. Uh, but maybe something with the protection uh, circuitry here, if there is any protection or maybe there is none, um, with respect to power, the Apple phone, the, the iPhone does not like. Uh, as, but as far as data goes, it seems to not complain. And when, sometimes when you plug it in, it, it, it warns you that this cable is not certified or that it may not work as expected. Um, but uh, as far as uh, using authentic cables, uh, at least for something that you're going to be using to put power into your phone, um, I would suggest getting real ones, at least from Apple or certified authentic, uh, because you don't want to play any games with your phone and ruin a thousand dollar phone and blow up your battery because of this cable. And there are instances when these things were made so cheaply that they didn't regulate power. And especially when you couple that with a, a charger, see, I have, this is an authentic Apple, or at least I think it is right. There's no way to really know uh, these days because they make really uh, good knockoffs, but this is from a reputable um, well, from the box uh, which I obtained. So this has to be a, a real one. Um, but if you buy third-party chargers, you may see an Apple logo on it, but it may be completely fake. So I'm sure this is good, okay, um, and it puts out a good voltage that's regulated and uh, it's not going to cause any issues. But you still need a good cable because you never know uh, what may be going on inside, um, you know, when it's checking for power and trying to control uh, how much power is going through. Uh, anyway, that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, again, share your stories about your lightning cables. And if you have any other theories as to why this thing may not be working, um, 
and if you, hopefully you liked this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up catch you next time